Good afternoon, I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Some locally stranded individuals, or LSIs, who just want to return to their provinces have been living on the sidewalks near the Quirino Grandstand in Manila instead. Let's check the situation on the ground with Justine Ponsalang. Justine, uh, I understand the LGU has come in to do something. How are the LSIs doing now? Yes, Charles, the government has already rescued the locally stranded individuals that were staying here at the Quirino Grandstand. But before that, the LSIs had to be creative to keep themselves dry during the pouring rain. Some took shelter underneath the trees while others managed to borrow tarps that they used as makeshift roofs. For the past days, the LSIs were, were staying here without food or beds. Other than that, there isn't a proper bathroom or toilet for them. While there are good Samaritans like this policeman who handed out meals yesterday, stranded individuals pretty much had to fend for themselves. Mang Boy even had to sell his cell phone so he could buy food. The LSI said they came to Carido Grandstand hoping to find free rides back to their home provinces. But as luck would have, would have it, the government's next Hatid, pro, Hatid Tulong program won't be running until July 25. This group of OFWs had already left the accommodation accommodation facilities provided by their agency. Mang Adonis, on the other hand, who used to be a maintenance personnel in Taytay Rizal, decided to go home to his province because he no longer has a job. There are also children stand, stranded at the grandstand together with their parents. Charles, right now, there are no LSIs left here at the Quirino Grandstand. Just moments ago, two trucks and a police mobile arrived here to carry the, uh, the 50 or some 50 LSIs. They are currently on their way to the Army Gym where they will be temporarily staying as they wait for the second batch of the government's Hatid Tulong program, which will happen at the end of the month. Charles? All right, thanks for that, Justine. Again, that was Justine Ponsalang reporting live from the city of Manila. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. Around 300 cadets at the Philippine National Police Academy will undergo RT-PCR testing following the death of two pleas. PNP Chief Archie Gamboa says the move is meant to ensure that the coronavirus has not invaded the academy. The recent deaths, though, were found to have been caused by heat stroke. Kim Idol has passed on. His friend Alan Kay confirmed on Instagram. Michael Argente in real life, the stand-up comedian, succumbed to his battle against arteriovenous malformation. This is a condition where tangled abnormal blood vessels disrupt the normal flow of blood and oxygen. During the pandemic, Kim worked as a marshal at the Quarantine Bureau's isolation facility. And U.S. President Donald Trump wears a mask in public for the first time since the start of the pandemic. Trump visited the military medical facility and said he's never been against wearing masks, but that he also believes that these have a time and place. Washington's top official had previously shunned wearing a mask and has repeatedly downplayed the health crisis. The United States still leads the world in coronavirus cases and deaths. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. You can also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.